it is happening guys what i have predicted before if you had watched any of my ai videos prior to this one and to the day we are going on with this ai conversation if you are seeing this please comment down below because i'm going to give you updated stuff with this ai conversation and it's really getting out of hand now because what i predicted again is coming true guys we went from chat gpt now to the hackers favorite app they don't made a hacker ai guys so we're going to get into that and i know a lot of you guys if you don't know what ai is ai is artificial intelligence it's taking the world by storm and we're going to get into this and talk about it because it all started with the open source AI. And open source AI is just the chat GPT or commonly known as chat GPT. Chat GPT has been heaven sent in one ways and been the absolute terror of this earth in others. Now, I know you guys as viewers are watching and like, you know, it's chat GPT isn't that horrible or, you know, I can't stand AI. You know, I know that we, I have people on both sides of the fence and you know, now being so far reaching because we got viewers in the UK, we got, so shout out our UK viewers. We got a lot of Indian viewers. So shout out our Indian viewers. We really appreciate everybody watching, but this stuff is really actually getting out of hand guys. So let's just give you a kind of a run back and we're going to we'll just go into uh chat GPT information. But even before that, did you guys know that this is not even the first AI, you know, to be introduced. It's honestly, even before we had the chat GPT, they had, you know, your Alexas, you had Google Assistant, you had, of course, the everybody's favorite Siri. Though we need to look outside of that because it's been going on even longer than that. So the first initial signs of a artificial intelligence were in Japan and bear bear with my uh pronunciation but Wasada University where they created the WABOT project and this was in 1967 okay guys so shoot up about 40 so years that's when uh, a lot of tech you know gurus billionaires and things like that got to working on open source AI which is now known as chat GPT. And if anybody was unfamiliar, at its initial stages, you had Elon Musk heading the project. Okay, guys, and I know that's a lot of, you know, information outside of the fact. So then now we get to what is chat GPT. So chat GPT also, what that really breaks down to, because I know a lot of you guys are like, what does that even mean? It means generative pre-trained transformer right now i know a lot of you guys probably listening to this are like oh shh. this is exactly what they you know put in the damn transformers movie they got some alien head in the basement and they're using his head to make honestly whatever it is that you know we as a society are looking for and i have no merits to say that we got some alien you know overlord head underground that they're utilizing to pick their brains and create our technology but it just seems like with that kind of name and that's what, it, what they were going up you know the type of tree they were barking up so open ai or chat gpt was introduced or released to the public in november 22nd 22 or 2022 so from its conception the company's creators have turned it into a company powerhouse going from a small enigmatic business to all or over 29 billion dollar company at the time of this recording of this video even this january they extended their long-term partnership with microsoft and also microsoft announced a multi-billion dollar contract with the open ai creators to further breakthroughs in ai throughout the world okay guys and just with that, I, I just want you guys to understand, even without you being involved in AI, this is something that has gone from a pennies to the dime type of business, 
uh, even a year or so ago to a multi-billion dollar, futurely trillion dollar business, okay? So if you aren't involved, honestly, you are leaving money on the floor. You are walking by a pile of money. These are like just the use of it is a mountain of, of untapped potential. And I've seen just today myself, I've seen even, you know, some some of the college young ladies that I went to school with just getting involved in chat GPT now. It has been around long enough for you to, you know, get yourself familiar. So do not miss the wave and be behind it, looking at it in retrospect, saying that, oh, well, I could have done this because when the doors shut beyond that access or they, you know, create all these other types of access points, just like how the Internet was when it first came out, it was a raw place where you had the unlimited ability to do anything. And then there's regulations and things that, you know, slowly you know chain that stuff up it's like anything in the world it was it was free choice at its best and then it's now chained up by new regulations and laws to placate the people out of our fears and things like that and i'm not saying you shouldn't be fearful because what i'm going to be talking about in a little bit will get you guys shaking your boots because like i was saying in the cons video about ai you know all of this stuff is being made to be about attack 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 but we're not sitting down thinking about defense and what we can do to defend ourselves now because ai is already a reality we cannot go backwards okay so what are we going to do to keep ourselves protected in this new future where things are going to be happening faster than we can blink in situations that we will not be able to see here or even touch. Please be aware when I'm talking about all of this, guys. So, it, you know, it's gone worldwide. And this chat GPT, it's smaller self. You know, its first iteration was consisted of one, 117 million parameters, okay? So what that means, it, it had all of these rules and subsets that allowed it to think on a level that would be conducive to a person utilizing it. Not to say that it's freely thinking or anything like that, and you can kind of get into all of that because it is a question-based model type of forum. And um, not to say that it can't out, outreach those kind of things because we as individuals don't have 100% information on what it is to create life. We are learning just like everything else. Those one, 117 million parameters set what it is for chat GPT today. That is its foundations, okay? As it went on to iteration number two or chat GPT two, it uh, rolled out in February, 2019 with a significant upgrade of 1.5 billion parameters, okay? But it still was, uh, you know, was prone to show signs of unsupervised learning through books, data through the internet and other personal information. So it was unfit for personal usage and they did not roll out into the public. So by the time they got to chat GPT three, that is when they started to, you know, give it subsets and boundaries. So did not, so it did not do anything malicious. Okay. So that's our key word of the day. In no malicious content will be utilized in uh, chat GPT with these certain subsets. So with that being said, then they, you know, went on to what is now chat GPT-4, where they then took away its ability to, you know, say things over a 10,000 character limit, which is crazy because I know a lot of you guys who might be thinking about writing a book, that would have been perfect, you know, but then it also was going on into tangents that were, you know, talking about things that weren't specifically on the topic. Uh, some of the information was potentially harmful information, so they set parameters to stop potentially harmful parameters, but this thing can now create code, it can create your images, it can even edit your videos, write scripts, it can do almost anything that you can imagine for you without the use of this up here. And I think that that is the most scary thing outside of what I'm going to be talking about right after this, but the use of your mind and the loss of it is going to be the most crazy thing in the future. 
for everybody who is a free thinker out there, I applaud you. I celebrate you and I thank you for even watching this video now. And I hope that you can spread that free thinking ability to others and everybody else who doesn't know if they are or are not a free thinker. I just don't want you to be consumed by these chat GPTs, open AIs, or any other artificial intelligence, and you lose the ability to think for yourself and to act for yourself because that will be the craziest thing. So let's get into the main topic of what this video has always been about. And they have now released what I predicted was going to be the case. A attack artificial intelligence aptly named worm GPT after chat GPT, just as a play on name, but worm GPT literally is a malicious content type of AI or artificial intelligence. So what it is, is a hacker inclined version of chat GPT. So what that really can scroll down to is it really is made to and sold to people who are hackers, people who want to ascertain your data, who are looking to find malicious content, who are looking to make inquiries of malicious intent, meaning to steal data, to look at text messages, emails, to find access to those personal cameras that I mentioned in my cons video. So this is why I think it's going to be very imperative. And anybody in my comments, please let me know if you're making this, but there's going to be a need for protection artificial intelligence. We're going to have a plethora of need for that because there are going to be more people making these attack and worm and and freaking uh, glitch me life AIs than we're ever going to be able to counteract as one individual by themselves. And this is why we're going to need a team of people. This is why the community is going to need to build. So if, you, if you're liking this video, please subscribe because we're going to be bringing out great, great comments, commentary, content, and things of that nature. Also hit that notification bell because that just lets you get updated when I release, you know, new content on this AI stuff, on building your wealth, on making yourself better, protecting yourself from crazy ish like this. And guess what? Finding that relationship or building that person that you really want to be. This is what's going down here on the Swedes, guys. So, you know, hit that like button if you're liking this and let's get back into it. So they're going to be able to automate the development of fake emails that making uh making it very convincing and personalized to you guys the recipients okay cyber criminals attacks are going to increase exponentially and the the, the even the creator projected a pr express aim as to make it an alternative to chat gbt now originally i i can understand why it might have came off like that because there were certain things on chat gpt when it first came out that a lot of people feel like now are blocked from it. So it's going to market itself as the unblocked, uncensored version of chat GPT, but let's not get it confused. It is a worm. Okay. And guess what worms do? They burrow in deep and they get hidden until something releases their ass up out of the ground. Okay. So you don't even know that they're dead, but you need to know that this is not a, something that you, you guys need to uh, specifically fear for yourself, because unless you are some billionaire or millionaire that is literally somebody is looking for this kind of stuff won't particularly affect you right now but best believe that in a few months that they are going to attack any and everybody because guess what if you collect a million pennies on the ground you would still make more money than you trying to rob a bank and getting arrested for that and i know that's a weird analogy but i'm just trying to tell you it'll take a lot less energy for you to collect some money smaller amounts than trying to affect something larger that would take notice to what you're doing now if you're wondering uh how you can find a list of ais and stuff that might be helpful to you i'll try to at least uh drop a link for some down below so uh you know make sure you check that out i got something that's talking about access and it don't access it so let's talk about the dangers though. Uh, it's going to be the generation of fake emails. One of the more crazier things, and I, I spoke about this on the cons video. So I really hope you guys uh, check that video out. We'll link that one down too and below. 
But the, the craziest is going to be fake, realistic, very real looking, fake news stories, man. Like I said, Tucker Carlson, one of these older newscasters that um, actually retired, I believe, uh, from news. But they, they uh, did a deep fake of him. And it was amazing, and I honestly believe it. I, I might even, I'll add it into this video. Just born in the 90s that's under 25, can't cook, can't clean. They don't want to work nothing. Niggas that's 31 and over get in relationships with them and wonder why shit ain't working. That's because all young bitches want to do is pop pills, smoke weed, get drunk, lay around, suck dick, eat hot Cheetos, charge they phone, get a sew and weave twerk, be bisexual, eat McDonald's, wash they pussy in the sink, lie, take selfies, and talk shit through Wi-Fi because they phone never on. It's, okay, it's hard to say. Might even utilize these useful tools to create and execute harmful assaults. So that just means even coming to your home and stuff like that and even the scarier things, man. So some of the stuff that you see on the internet, all of this stuff is going to be even more possible now. Okay, guys, so you really need to be aware that this is what is going on, because if you're trying to, like, be oblivious to it or trying to, you know, keep it out of out of sight, out of mind, you will be somebody who will be left face down, ass up, not being asked nicely how you like the, okay? So I don't want to scare, too, you know, you guys too, too, too much. Please, you know, check out the stuff that we got down below. This stuff is getting crazy with this AI. So I hope that you are, you know, watching at least my content so that you can keep up to date about it. If you are not, please find somebody who is bringing to you good enough. If not, comment down below, subscribe, and click that like button. I thank you for watching this video today. Um, we will bring you the best information we can or I can through this channel. Thank you for watching again. Peace. This is your boy Juice on the Squeeze.